In today's tutorial, I will show you how to deploy a React app to Vercel. This is what the final result will look like. We will be able to access our React app that we have on our local machine at a randomly generated URL that Vercel will give us. Once you have it deployed, anyone can visit this URL and see your React app. To get started, upload your React app to your GitHub account. Then go to Vercel.com. It should look like this. Click Sign Up. Click Hobby and just type in your name. Click Continue with GitHub and follow the instructions to connect your GitHub account with Vercel. Since I already completed the steps before, this is the screen that I see. You might have to complete extra steps if this is the first time you're connecting your GitHub account with Vercel. Once you've completed everything, you should see this page. If you don't get redirected to this page, you can just go to this URL. In this section, you will see all of the repos that Vercel has access to. Depending on how you set up your account, you will either see all your GitHub repos in this list, or you will only see the ones that you selected specifically for Vercel to have access to. If you don't see your GitHub repo with your React app in this list, you can just click Adjust GitHub App Permissions here. Scrolling down, I have the option selected where Vercel can only access certain repositories from my GitHub account. If you also selected this option, then you would just need to find your GitHub repo from this list here. So for example, if this was my React app, I would just select it and hit save. Once you hit save, you should now see your list again, and you should now see the React app that you just selected. Once you find your React app, click import. On this page, just make sure create React app is the option that's selected here for framework preset. You can leave the rest of these options as a default value unless you have a specific reason to change them. Once you're done selecting all your options, just click deploy. I resume this video once this is complete. The deployment is now complete and you should see a very similar screen. Click continue to dashboard. Once you're on this page, you can click visit to see your React app being hosted on this Vercel domain. If you want to use a custom domain instead of the domain that Vercel gives you, I have a video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to do that. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.